If movies, TV, and sports has taught me anything, it's that everyone loves an underdog story, and that living in the shadow of popular siblings can be a frustrating existence. But the Legome Mini aims at bringing the premium feel and brewing experience of its bigger bird brothers to those not looking to drop racks on a coffee grinder, but they still want that trusted build quality, full metal construction, and maybe a couple burr options. Which today, in 2022, I don't think is too much to ask in the $500 range. And now, after a few months with the Lego Mini on the bar, brewing all kinds of coffees on both sets of burrs, I've got some thoughts on this little piece of coffee kit. So in this video, we'll get into the weeds on its build, its burr sets, its brews, and all those little details many of us have come to expect from a proper, single-dosing, lower-tension grinder. But first, a quick thank you to the folks over at Option O for the demo Lego Mini to test, review, and return. As always, there was no compensation, contracts, or even a general agreement about what can or can't be said in this review. So 100% of this is my thoughts and my opinions without any inputs or edits from Option O. And of course, if you want to help me make more of these non-biased reviews, every little bit helps. So every like, subscription, share, and comment helps push me higher in the algorithm and get more attention on these videos. And that's super helpful. And if you want to go even further, you can join my Patreon or drop a super thanks tip below. But with all that said, let's dive into the video. The Lego Mini strikes a unique but comfortable balance between a premium hand and an electric grinder. The entirety of its cylindrical body is made up of aluminum, including its hopper lid and dosing cup, both of which are secured firmly in place by magnets and won't go anywhere until you put in deliberate effort to move them. The hopper itself feeds directly on top of the burrs and can hold about 30 grams of coffee depending on the bean size. It also doubles as the grind adjustment ring, which is stepless and gives you a lot of markings to use as reference points. The Lego Mini, much like its bigger sibling, the P64, has a couple burr options, which does set it apart from many of the other home-focused conicals out there, but I'll get more into that in a bit. Both burr sets for the Mini are 48mm conicals that are designed in-house at Option O. And as the burrs do their thing, the grinds are cleanly dosed into the tall, thin dosing cup, which maintains the grinder's sleek silhouette. In terms of its workflow, the Lego Mini follows the pretty standard, tried-and-true single-dosing platform. Beans go in, grinds come out. But just like all single-dosing grinders, or just grinders in general, there are a couple things worth mentioning beyond those basics. As you'd expect, the retention is low, with my test showing no more than 0.2 grams withheld per batch on espresso and 0.1 on filter. This lack of retained coffee allows you to make large grind changes between uses without the need to purge which can be a time and coffee saver for those who like to switch brew methods and coffees pretty frequently, like yours truly. But if saving time is on your agenda, I should say that the 48mm burrs can only crank through so many beans at a time, leaving you with a pretty big range in terms of grind time depending on setting. For instance, a coarser grind setting can be about 15 seconds, but on espresso you can go up to one minute, and of course, this is also dependent on your batch size. After all your coffee is ground, the thin diameter dosing cup allows for a clean transition to your brewing method of choice. And finally, when you're ready to clean out or swap out the burrs, getting that done is pretty straightforward, requiring just a few tools, a chopstick, and a couple of minutes. Unlike many home grinders in this same price point, the Mini has two distinctly different burr options. Obsidian and Moonshine. Of course, just by looking at them you can see their surface differences, but let's get a little deeper. The aptly named obsidian burrs have a flatter texture due to their material or coating. I would say it closely resembles that of cast steel, which is a direct contrast to the moonshine set that are smoother and polished. When it comes to grinding and brewing, the obsidians tend to be more balanced and complex, while the moonshine option edges more towards clarity and acidity. As I used both sets to brew both filter and espresso, I couldn't help but notice that at the same grind point, the moonshine set produced much faster brew times. For instance, on the obsidian, I could grind fine enough for a traditional 25 second double shot, while on the moonshine, it would produce the same yield in about half that time. This outcome led me to believe that the obsidian burrs create more fines, which not only gives them a fuller bodied shot for filter or espresso, but also more complexity. And in direct contrast, the moonshine burrs with their lack of fines create a more even and consistent flow of water through the coffee, resulting in overall higher extractions, averaging 20% and above, when compared to the obsidian's 
but again with more pronounced clarity and acidity, which may not be to everyone's preferences. As you'd maybe expect, grinding on the Moonshine Burrs does add some time to the already long grind times, as they need to be adjusted finer than the Obsidians for the same application. To summarize, at least to me, the Obsidian Burrs are the ideal all-around standard, producing balanced textural espresso and filter coffees. And the Moonshine set with its more consistent grind size and less fines, produce cups that are higher in clarity and acidity, which in my mind more closely resembles that of a flat burr set. So far, a couple of times in this review, I've mentioned the time it takes to grind a batch, and generally, I wouldn't say this meets the criteria of a downside or a quirk. But in the case of the Mini, I think it would be worth considering, depending on your personal brewing preferences and situation. The duty cycle, which is essentially the time on versus the time off, can get a little tight on espresso, especially with the Moonshine Burrs. Option O recommends a max of 90 seconds on, followed by a minimum of 90 seconds off, which works out roughly to a total of 4 shots of espresso in 10 minutes. Now that doesn't sound too bad just off the cuff, but let's say you're dialing in a difficult coffee or you're entertaining some friends and family, that could be a recipe for some premature motor wear. And when it comes to just daily usability and workflow, I would have liked to see more numbers on the adjustment dial as there is only a single zero that denotes a full rotation, and that can get sort of lost in the shuffle, making it easy to lose where you're at between brew methods. But generally because this is such a compact package and each piece works and is designed very intentionally, I don't really have a lot to say in terms of quirks and downsides. When there's a product with the word mini in the name, it can set off a few red flags, because it generally means that somewhere along the way, compromises have been made. Yet, in the case of the Lego Mini, I feel like the build, the grind, and the subsequent brews produced meet the premium expectations I have from Option O products. The Lego Mini does a great job at taking full advantage of its compact footprint. And side by side with its direct competitors, like the Niche Zero for instance, it not only holds its own, but provides the same functionality. I.e. single dose, low retention, and all around brewing capabilities but also full metal construction, a couple burr options, and a lower price point. For quite some time, I've been recommending the Niche as sort of the ideal, affordable, conical single doser. But the Niche and the other grinders in that market segment has found some serious competition in the Lego Mini. And with all that said, I think it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. What are your thoughts on the Option O Lego Mini? And also, what are your thoughts on the conical single dosing market? Is the niche still the goat? Drop your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram at Spromethius for content throughout the week, my blog at Spromethius.com, my coffee at LittleGiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy.